Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. If you are new here, please do me a favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because I want you to be part of my Mary Makers community. Okay, in today's video, you guys, I wanted to do a quick review for you guys on this, um, I don't know what they're calling this. Is this like the time of day collection? They don't, they never gave us like an official name for this collection. So, but anyway, it has three different ones. I only picked up the sprays in these because I feel like I can't get through the body creams fast enough before some of them turn bad. So in an effort to be more conscious of my spending, which thrills me, right? And uh, my usage and not using or buying product that I'm not going to end up using, I've kind of held back on picking up Perf or the, the matching sets that go with everything, unless I'm truly in love with the scent. Like bubblegum pop, I would get that in everything. But I'm, I, your girl's trying to scale back a little bit, all right? All right, the economy hitting all of us, all right? All right, so we're gonna start off today with this collection. The first one is Misty Morning. It says, today is a new day and anything is possible with this fresh fragrance, okay? Scent notes are Lily of the Valley, Green Tea, and White Amber. And you guys, oh, this is, I, I think this is my favorite one of the three of them. Like, it is really good. You definitely get that lily, and the green tea kind of comes through a little bit. It kind of gives it, like, a slight fresh component. But I'm not a huge fan of, like, super fresh fragrances. So this actually, I thought it was going to be, one, like, one of those really fresh ones, and it's not. It's more like misty morning. <laughs> it's, it's. You get the tea, you can definitely get the green tea that comes through. It's very light though. The lily of the valley and the amber is what I pick up the most. But it gives it like this, this beautiful mix of the floral with the amber. And it's like, it's not heavily, heavily floral. So some people, you know, I know some people out there don't like these florals. It's not heavy floral, but it's good. It's good. It just kind of make it makes you think like of sitting on your front porch in the morning and there's just uh, light fog in the air, maybe by a lake, and you're sipping your morning tea or your morning coffee. It just makes me feel like that. And I, I, I am here for it. I really, really do like this. Now, one thing I did notice, I don't know if you guys can see this on, on the camera. I typically, a lot of times when I'm smelling something, I'll, I'll spray it in the cap, right? I noticed with these time of day ones, they almost look white, like the drops inside are not, even though the, the liquid is clear, the drops for this one, for whatever reason, almost look milky. I don't know why, but they do. But I noticed that with all three of them, which I thought was odd. Just something I noticed. I don't know. It probably means nothing, but who knows? I just wanted to point that out. Next one in the collection, we have Afternoon Sunshine. It is spend the afternoon under the clouds and in the sun with this uplifting fragrance. And y'all... It is 95 degrees here today uh, where I am at in uh, Northeast Ohio. And I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> Your girl's leaving work early today. And uh, I'm getting in the pool with my son. And that is where we were spending on this uh, in the afternoon sunshine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, scent notes are golden peaches, honey crisp apple, and white woods. Now, I said before I really wondered if this was going to be like wrapped in sunshine from the fall. Because... The scent notes were similar. I don't remember what the exact scent notes were, but the scent notes were similar, and I wasn't really that fond of that one. And I don't really like anything peach that Bath & Body Works does. I've mentioned that before. But this one, it's light. I think it's probably the lightest of all three in the collection. But this one, to me, it's similar to that. However, I get more of an apple note in this one and more of that musk, which has to be the white woods. It has to be. But it's like a musky, apple-y type of, a, but it's light. It's light. I don't, I don't think this is heavy at all. Like, it's not heavy at all. It's not. Yeah. But that musk, that musk comes through with the apple more than the peach. I don't really get peach in this at all, which, which is a good thing. I ain't, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. But it is good. It is good. Is it my favorite? Nah. And again, see that? It lo almost looks like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Do you see how it kind of looks like it's almost like milky? What that, what that, what that about, huh? What that about? It's kind of weird, but 
Like, I'm, I'm gonna have to play detective and be like, it's a Scooby-Doo mystery, as Bonnie says. <laughs> it's a Scooby-Doo mystery. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it is a good one. It's, it's very, very light. It's not my favorite on the collection, but that is Afternoon Sunshine. This one is definitely my second favorite of the collection, and that is Cozy Evening. It says, all is calm as you dream the evening away with this soft fragrance. Set notes are Lavender Blooms, Fresh Frieza, and co Cozy Musk. Cozy Musk. I like this. Oh, you guys, I like this. I really like this. I don't think I like it more than Misty Morning, though. Like, I think Misty Morning is better. Yeah, Misty Morning is better. But this, you definitely get that lavender, but it's not, like, overwhelming lavender. Like, I don't like when they do a lot of lavender. I Like, they had this one, I think it was called Lavender Fields or something like that. I want to say it was either last year or the year before, and it was too lavender. Like, it... it was just... Oh, it was like old lady lavender, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? But this one... It's like a light lavender, but you definitely get that freesia and the musk. And the freesia is not overpowering. The freesia is not overpowering. It is just enough to make the, the lavender smell good. Yeah. But it's definitely a cozy... Uh, I almost could see somebody wearing this in the fall. Because it, it, it really gives me like cozy, wrapped up in a blanket vibes. Definitely an evening type of a scent. I don't think I'd really wear this all day. Maybe maybe in the winter or the fall I would, though. I don't know. But definitely not in the summer heat. <laughs> no, 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 no. But it's good. It's good. I really do like this one. The musk isn't really heavy either. It's like they all come together perfectly. It definitely is a, is a cozy, by the fire, wrapped in a blanket type of a scent. And it's not like, it's not like Marshmallow Fireside. It's not like... Um, Fireside Flurries, it's nothing like that, so don't get it confused. Because those are more sweet, especially more, uh, Fireside Flurries is more sweet. This is more musky lavender floral, but it's like evening musky, if, if, you, if you follow what I'm saying. Definitely check it out. I highly recommend you guys to get in the store and smell all three of these. Um, I think they're definitely worth checking out. Again, my top two faves in this are the morning and the evening with my fave being the Misty Morning, because this one just does something to me. I'm really digging it. I'm really digging it. It's super good. I really, really like it. So, but yeah, that is just my quick review of these. What is this? The, I, I, again, we don't even have a name for this collection, y'all. It, it, what is it? The, the Time of Day Collection. I think that's what I'm going to call it. The Time of Day Collection. Mm -hmm. All right. But that is all I have for today, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already. And you should be subscribed already, baby. You should be subscribed. Go ahead and ding that bell because you're going to want to know when I upload too. Ooh, I got some good stuff coming. You ain't going to want to miss it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, you guys. That is all I have for today. Today, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.